Well, good morning and welcome to day four of this five day training on how to find the perfect products to sell on Amazon. And I hope you're all beginning to see the potential of what profit there is to be made selling your own branded goods on the Amazon platform. So today we're going to look at the Amazon product launch process. We're going to cover the Amazon flywheel and how Amazon works for your product. We're also going to go through a basic overview of what influences keyword rank on Amazon. We're going to discuss your target keywords, the importance of keyword relevance, and also the three keys to a successful launch. So this is the Amazon flywheel. Now, at the center of everything is the shopper experience. And as a seller, this means that we have to focus on discovery for our products, traffic, conversion, social proof, or reviews. So when it comes to discovery, Amazon's algorithm determines if your product listing is relevant to a shopper search using a process called indexing. It does this using your title, your bullet points, your back-end search terms, and your description. The algorithm then prioritizes results on the likelihood that the shopper will buy that product based on the historical sales performance of that product, thus delivering a good shopping experience and making Amazon money at the same time. This is known as your organic rank or rank and is basically what position you show up in in the search results when a shopper searches for your type of product on Amazon. So when it comes to traffic, once Amazon has determined your rank for a customer search, a combination of how compelling your listing is through the main image, price, reviews and title determines whether you will win the click or not. This is known as organic traffic. You can also buy traffic to your listing using the Amazon advertising or pay-per-click PPC. Every time someone looks at your product listing, this is counted as a session. Now on to conversion. Conversion is the number of units of your product that shoppers purchase out of the total number of sessions or people who looked at your listing. So if 100 people look at your listing and 15 people buy one unit of your product, that's a 15% conversion rate or what Amazon calls a unit session percentage. Conversion is influenced by a number of different factors. Primarily, it's going to be your reviews, your price, your images, and as well, your listing copy and content. And so on to social proof. Now, reviews are vital to success on Amazon. The more positive reviews you get, the more shoppers will click on your listing, the more it justifies the target selling price that you have for your products, and the more shoppers will buy your product and drive conversions. So, looking back at the Amazon flywheel, our keyword ranking determines the amount of traffic and conversion that we get. The more sales that we get, the more reviews that we get. So then we look better in the keyword rankings, and our keyword rankings continue to increase. And that process sort of snowballs on itself, where we drive more and more sales, get more and more reviews, and eventually rank at the top of the search results for our product. Now, the way to do this is by using Amazon Pay Per Click PPC advertising and an attractive price. Amazon PPC is an advertising model in which advertisers pay a fee to Amazon when a shopper clicks on their ad, also known as Pay Per Click. You can pay Amazon to show your product at the top of search results for keywords that you want to show up for. So when a shopper clicks on your product, you pay Amazon a fee for that click. So in this example, where it says sponsored, this is an Amazon PPC or pay-per-click sponsored ad. Now let's talk about target keywords. Keywords are what Amazon uses to match your listing to a shopper's search term. In fact, Amazon is basically a giant products search engine. Your job is to get your product in front of the right searches 
and that gets turned into sales. So let's talk about the importance of relevance. Amazon sees your product as relevant to the shopper's search if the shopper click your product and buy it after searching for that specific term. How relevant your product is to the intent of the shopper's search on Amazon will influence your click-through rate and conversion rate. It always comes back to conversion. When launching, we only want to target highly relevant keywords. So, there are three keys to a successful product launch on Amazon. The first is having a great product with a great price that people want. The second is having a high converting product listing. And the third is getting the right kind of traffic to your listing that converts. So now let's take a look at some keyword examples. If you're selling an automatic bicycle pump on Amazon, you want to appear for the keyword bicycle pump in the end. However, when launching, the goal is to target the most relevant keywords that have specific shopper intent relevant to your product. So for example, automatic bicycle pump would be much more relevant to your product, which is the automatic bicycle pump, than just bicycle pump, because there are many different types of bicycle pump. In this keyword, the shopper is stating that they want an automatic bicycle pump very explicitly. And it's these types of keywords that we want to target. The ones that are most relevant and closest to our product, as that is going to result in higher conversion. Another example might be automatic bicycle pump with pressure gauge. If you have an automatic bicycle pump that features a pressure gauge, then this is a highly relevant search term or keyword that a shopper is entering on Amazon when looking for your product. Targeting keywords that are highly relevant to your product and very specific in the shopper's intent, which is what they're looking for, will result in a high conversion to begin with, which will increase your rankings and your visibility. The higher you rank, the more visible you are and the more sales you will generate. When we talk about keywords, there are two types of keywords. We have root keywords and long tail keywords. Root keywords are usually the broadest, shortest and most obvious keywords. For example, bicycle pump. Long tail keywords are generally three or more words and have more specific intent in the search. Again, for example, automatic bicycle pump. The word automatic is a specific intent that the shopper is looking for when they're searching bicycle pump. Automatic bicycle pump with pressure gauge is even more specific to the features they're looking for in that product. Finding the balance of targeting long tail keywords with specific intent that have search demand, being the number of people searching for that product per month, will drive conversion, ranking, and as always, ultimately drive sales. Now, there are six key elements in your listing to get right for product launch. The first is the keyword research, as we've just been talking about. Second is the traffic grabbing product title. Third, the bullet points. And these sell and differentiate your product. And here you can include root and long tailed keywords. Fourth, writing a compelling product description. Fifth, your product images that attract and convert shoppers into customers. Sixth, pricing. You have to be competitive when launching and be prepared to make smaller profits during that launch period. So for your initial sales and reviews, the easiest way to get some of these is to have friends and family purchase your product. You want to make as big a list as possible of friends and family that you think would be willing to support your new business. There are some important considerations for your friends and family list. Do not have any family members in your household purchase or leave reviews. In general, having family members review your product is against Amazon Terms of Service. Do not take chances, especially with anyone that shares your last name. 
Having friends buy and leave an honest review is totally fine within Amazon Terms of Service. You will want to coordinate these purchases through important keywords for your listing. So as an example, if your product is a folding camping chair, you could have them searching folding camping chair and then your brand and then find your product and go ahead and purchase it. So now let's talk about external traffic. In general, Amazon rewards external traffic to your listing with a ranking boost, whether or not that traffic results in actual sales. You can run small amounts of traffic from multiple different sources to help with this process, but an example would be Facebook posts. Social posts are a great way to get some free traffic to your product and send positive signals to Amazon at the same time. You'll want to use a combination of both personal social media and your brand social media to share the product launch. A good example of this, you could make a message that says, you know, uh, my brand is excited to launch our first product. For a limited time, you can save 60% off the retail price. Check it out here. You'll want to include a photo of your product to make it very personalized for your personal social media and a photo of yourself. On your brand's social media, you can make a post with the product announcing your launch and talking about the benefits of the product. Again, share your launch deal and the link to the product. These types of posts can be made on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, pretty much anywhere that you set up a social media presence for yourself and for your brand. Remember, the only goal of this is to get extra traffic to your Amazon listing. We're not really concerned that uh, you get actual sales converted from clicks. The main thing is to get traffic to your listing. And finally, let's talk about common mistakes made during launch. The first one that is seen the most is people killing the momentum by raising their price or decreasing their ad spend on the uh, Amazon PPC too quickly. When you're launching products, it's important to maintain that momentum until you get your keyword ranking. Another common mistake is ignoring what the data is telling you. Sometimes your conversion rate may be too low. That's conversion rate on your keywords. If you're not seeing conversions, that's something you need to adjust for. If you find that certain keywords aren't converting, you shouldn't just keep spending on them and hoping for something to change. If a keyword isn't converting, don't just keep spending money on it. And that's it for day four. Yet again, we've covered an amazing amount of information. We've spoken about the Amazon flywheel and the continuing process of keywords, driving traffic, driving sales, getting reviews, and then driving more traffic, etc., etc. We've talked about the keyword research and then the relevance of keywords. The importance of conversion, that can never be an overstated fact. The more conversion you get sales to clicks, the more Amazon will push you up the rankings. And finally, we also covered the Amazon PPC, Pay Per Click, and that sponsored program of advertising, which will get your product listed at the top of any search page. And tomorrow is the last day of the five day training. And we're going to talk about building a brand, the process of adding a second and then a third product to your brand range. Well done on getting this far. It proves to me that you really are going to make this system work for yourself and make yourself an awful lot of money in the future. So, as usual, if you've got any questions or comments, please put them into the Facebook group. And I will look forward to seeing you on the last day tomorrow. And we'll talk about building that brand, which you might well go on to sell for a very large sum of money. See you all tomorrow. Bye bye.